Well, it's bound to happen. We've got enough snow here that fun in the lawn might be over with for a little while here. But you can tell some of the bushes still have leaves on them. Most of the leaves are off the trees and we've got them off our lawns. But my bushes, they're actually filled with with leaves. So I'm hoping that the uh, the snow melts off enough that I can get some of those leaves out of here. It's not as easy as you think. There's also a lot of green leaves on some of these other smaller trees. So we still got more fall yet to go. What I use for most of the leaf clearing is my Husqvarna 125B. And even though this cover can open up. The actual housing cannot take a uh, the Husqvarna leaf and mulching kit for this model. You have to have a slightly different model. I think it's the 125 BV or BVX. So unfortunately, I can't just buy a kit for this to add a vacuum kit. My other option was to use my big Craftsman shop vac, but these don't mulch the leaves, so this would fill up in a hurry, even though it would do a pretty good job of probably vacuuming up the leaves in the shrubs. So after looking at both the cordless and the corded, I decided I didn't really like the battery-powered ones, mainly because the most you get at them was maybe 20 minutes, and uh, I really don't like it when I have something battery powered and I, it runs down and I have to recharge and wait to continue the job. So I decided I can get by with a corded unit. Plus they're quite expensive. Even the 20 minute Toros and that type are $200. So for a chore that I'm not really going to do that often with the vacuuming leaves out of the bushes and other areas around the yard, I thought I'd go with a corded unit. So I went on uh, Amazon, used Prime, select things that are for four stars or better, and I've limited my choices based on past experience just down to the Black & Decker and Toro. And uh, we ended up with seven choices came up. Uh, the BV6000 Black & Decker. There's the BV6600 Black & Decker. We've got the Toro 51. 621 and then there's a couple there's a leaf sweeper and a couple more down here that didn't really match the search criteria so it pretty much come down to the black and decker and the toro uh, the black and decker 6600 a little bit more expensive its main advantage is it has a variable speed versus a two speed on the 6000 my experience has been the variable speed option on some of these is part one of the parts that fails so I don't really need that so I'm going to stick with the two speed would be plenty good and then just looking at uh, some of the user uh, videos on YouTube on the Toros it's a pretty good unit no real problems uh, complaints with it I just happen to believe uh, prefer the handle that's on the tube itself on the uh, Black and Decker unit, it makes it a little more convenient and comfortable to use than what people are talking about with the Toro. So I ordered the 6000 and it should be arriving today. So we'll do a follow up video on that when I get it together. Have a good day.